Hi camper, my name is Brooke and I am one of your Camp in a Box counselors. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a no sew fleece pillow. First things first, we got to get our supplies. Go ahead right over to your Camp in a Box box and get your pillow form and your two pieces of fleece. And then from around your house, you're going to want a ruler, it can either be short or long, a sturdy pair of scissors that can cut through both layers of fabric. Optional but helpful is a fabric marker. Optional but helpful is a cutting mat. You're going to want to have a flat, clean surface to work on. And then you're also going to want your um, templates that came with your instructions. Go ahead, pause this video and go get all your supplies and then come right back and we'll get started with your first couple steps. All right, now we're gonna move on to our first step. First step is going to be to cut out both of your templates. When you cut it out, you just wanna cut right along the outside lines. Don't cut on the inside lines because those are gonna be important in a minute. So just cut right along the outside edges. Go ahead and grab your scissors and do that. First one done. Also remember to use an adult if needed to use your scissors. Once you have both pieces of your template cut out, you're done with the first step. All right, I'm moving on to our next step. I have cleared off um, most of my work area just to make sure that I have a nice flat area to work. So next what we're going to do is we're going to put two pieces of fabric together, putting the wrong sides together. So in order to find the wrong sides of your fabric, you're going to pull on your fabric and find the side that is the most stretchy and then when you pull on it you see how the side kind of curves in the side that it curves to is going to be your wrong side so you're going to want to lay that out making sure the wrong side is up so the side that it curled to is facing up and then you're going to do the same with the other piece this is it so see how it curls down so then we're gonna put this wrong side that it curls towards and we're gonna layer it right on top of the other piece of fabric. While you're doing this, you want to make sure that your sides are matched up as good as can be. I understand that both pieces might not be the exact same size, but you want them to match up as good as you can get it. All right, once both of your sides are um, put wrong sides together and made into one looks kind of like one piece, you're gonna lay it out flat on your surface. Because I have a cutting mat, I am actually going to line this up on my cutting mat so that it is nice and straight. Okay, now that you have your fabric laid out, go ahead and grab your square template. Um, this should be the one that's hopefully four inches by four inch square. And then if you have a fabric marker, go ahead and grab that. Don't worry if you don't have one, I'll explain in a minute what to do if you don't have one. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper square and put it in one of the corners. It doesn't really matter which one you start with. And then if you have a fabric marker, go ahead and trace the edge of that square. We're going to go ahead and do that. It doesn't have to be too thick of a line, just enough so that you can see it. Super. Hope you can see that line there. And then you're going to want to do um, each of the corners with this. So put your square on your corner and then trace the edge of the square with your fabric marker. And then go ahead and do that to each of your corners. All right, hopefully now you have traced um, each of your corners. Um, and then also, I forgot to mention earlier that if you have a darker fabric, you may want to flip your fabric over and trace your squares on the other side just so you can see it better. Now we're going to cut out each of the corners. If you don't have a marker, you can just put the square on the corner and then cut around the square. But if you do have a marker, just go ahead and take off your square and cut around each of the corners, just following along the line that you traced. And then you're going to go ahead and do that to all four of your corners. All right, now that each of your four corners are cut out, I am actually going to flip my fabric over so that for our next step, I'll be able to see my markings a little bit better. So I'm going to flip over my um, fabric. And the next part, there are a couple ways you can do this. If you have a cutting board, then you can use the markings on that to line up your fabric and cut your strips that way. So if I line this up, then you can see each of the lines here. Um, but if you do not, um, you can use our ruler or you can use the paper template that was sent to you. So I'm going to use the paper template for right now. And what we're gonna do is we're going to cut four inch long by one inch wide strips on each of our sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line up my paper at the bottom where my corner is, and then just try and eyeball the line to the other side as best as I can. And then I'm going to take my marker, um, it can be any utensil you want to use, um, mine is washable, um, and so then I'll just be able to apply some water to my fabric after I'm done, and the ink will disappear. So go ahead and mark along each of your one inch segments. And you can just make like a little line or a dot, whatever you need to see it the best. And then just move it over so that you can do your last couple lines. And then you're going to move it up. You can start at the top if you really want to make sure that you're going four inches down. Um, but the square is four inches down, so that should also help you know how far to go. So I'm going to move this in line and then make some line, some dots up here for markings. I'm gonna move it over, just do your last couple. And then you can see that there are two dots and then if you would like to connect them with your marker, you can.
but that's not required. And then go ahead and do all four of your sides, um, marking the strips like so. All right, and right now I am on my last side with marking. So as you can see, I have marked each of these lines. And then when I move it down, um, ending at this line, if I move it down to this, it's not exact with the markings, like it won't give me. So you can either pick if you want um, two more or if you just wanna make one line down the center. Um, if it's not exact, it's okay. You just wanna make sure that you um, have the same amount of marks on the top as you do on the bottom so you have the same amount. You have a good, the consistent amount of strips. So then with these ones, I'm just kind of going to eyeball and mark it right where I think it'll go. And then you should be done with marking all four of your sides. All right, now that you have marked all four of your sides, you're going to want to go ahead and grab your durable scissors and go ahead and start cutting each of your strips. So you're gonna start at the top with the first line and then try and end up right at the end of the last line that you made. Or if you're near the end, you can just match up with this line right here. So you're gonna go along each of your lines and cut out your strips. It's okay if they're not perfect. All right, now each of your sides should be cut into strips. And now what you're going to want to do is begin tying your knots, which is going to um, hold your pillowcase in place. So you can start wherever you would like, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab this end, these two pieces of fabric together and separate them. And then you're gonna tie two knots. So you're going to cross over and then bring your bottom piece through. And then depending on how um, tight or loose you want your pillow to be, you can either just pull it and kind of leave it loose or you can make it nice and snug, and then you're gonna do another one of those to make sure that it stays in place. So we'll do that again. Grab one of your strips, separate it, make one knot, and then make a second knot. And then you're going to continue doing this, but only knot three sides of your fabric and then we'll come back and I'll talk to you about what to do before tying your fourth side. All right, now that each of your three sides have been tied, you're gonna go ahead and grab your pillow form and open up that fourth side. And then go ahead and put your pillow form in your fabric. Right, so now that our pillow form is in our pillowcase, we're going to flip our sides back over and then finish tying that last side. So again, finding your two pieces that match up and tying one knot, two knot, and then moving on to the next two pieces that match up. And then do this to the whole rest of the side. 
All right, I have tied each of my knots. I am on my last one, finding my two pieces that match together, tying one knot, tying two knots, and then you can lay out your pillow and see your finished project of your do-it-yourself fleece tie pillow. Good job, camper.